second race. I'm bringing you here at Weatherby is the Bet365 Handicap Chase over two mile four furlongs for horses rated up to 140. Batchley Gale for John Morgan. Around Regal Martin Leadham. Whistling Sarah for D. Thompson. Long Haul Pontypool Racing. El Sophia Mella for Thomas Rogers. Thunderbirds are go. Paul Rhodes. Fontoff for David Hooley. And Annie Walker for Thomas Rogers. And they're off and running. So a few of these fell on their debut. Uh, run last week, Whistling Sarah was one of those, as was around Regal, but those two are still fancied runners in the betting today as Batchley Gale sets that early lead to the grey horse. The other grey in the race is Fontaf. That's all oh, Fontaf, just as I mentioned, it almost went down there, as did Whistling Sarah. Both of them put in really poor leaps at the first, and Fontaf is at the rear of the field with Annie Walker, but jumps that one much more fluently. And actually, uh, the jump allowed that to move up alongside and past Long Hall, and Annie Walker remains the back marker. As they come towards the next fence, it's Whistling Sarah. Uh, that jumped that really well. Long Hall didn't put in a particularly good jump as they go over the next. Oof, a bad jump there from Thunderbirds Argo. And the uh, jumping hasn't been particularly fluent from these horses here uh, so far, but it's Whistling Sarah in the lead from around Regal in second. Furthest away from the camera is El Sophia Mella. Yeah, in the in the dark green and the lighter green sleeves. Then we've got the two grey horses, Fontaf, just ahead of Batchley Gale. And the back three are Thunderbirds Argo, Long Hall, and Annie Walker, the longtime back marker so far in this race. So Whistling Sarah has been joined now up front and maybe even a nose in front is is uh, Whistling Sarah. No, around Regal is, is just in front there on the rail as they turn left-handed there and into the back straight. So it's around Regal just ahead of Whistling Sarah. And they've opened up about a length and a half advantage over El Sophia Mella, who put in a really good jump there. Batchley Gale was quite quick over that, more fluent than Fontaf. And De Hooli will be worried about the fluency of this uh, the horse at the moment as it put in another slow jump there. But Annie Walker's one who's really struggling towards the rear of the field and is out of shot at the moment. So back towards the front as they go over the, that, that next fence. A couple of really good jumps from around Regal and Whistling. Sarah, El Sophia Mella was the one who wasn't particularly clever at that fence as they quite quickly come to the next one all of them jump that much more fluently 11 furlongs as they pass the big screen in the stands race goers looking on and getting a really close-up view of their horses uh, at the moment and all of them look to be traveling on the bridle and traveling quite strongly at the moment it'll be interesting to see whether those mistakes just take a little bit of that energy and that finish out of some of those horses like El Sophia Mella, Fontaf, Thunderbirds Argo, Annie Walker it's quite a few have put in some poor jumps so far, far around Regal has been one of the better jumpers so far as has Batchley Gale and Batchley Gale has now moved up alongside Whistling Sarah to share second place. So it's around Regal that has a couple of lengths advantage as they come towards the next flight. Good jump from all the horses there. And uh, El Sophia Mello was ridden for a few strides uh, after upon landing just to try and maintain its pace. Oh, we've lost around Regal and Thunderbirds are go. I think it was a matter of time with some of the jumping that we saw around Regal took off too early and the jockey had a little chance of staying on that one as they go over the next flight. Batchley Gale is now in the lead from El Sophia Mella. The other grey horse on the outside is Fontaf. Those front three jumped that one pretty well and Whistling Sarah's moved up alongside the loose horse that is around Regal. Around Regal looked to be enjoying itself but it didn't enjoy that fence. Oh, Fontaf's gone. Fontaf's gone as well. A really poor jump from David Hooley's grey there. There and that one's got rid of the rider. So up front, it's Batchley Gale, El Sophia Mella. Let's hope some of these horses finish this race. Three down, five still standing. I don't think Annie Walker's going to feature, though, has been the back marker and is looking like it's tailed off already. So into the final four furlongs we go. Batchley Gale joined up front by El Sophia Mella. Whistling Sarah travelling strongly in behind those. Long Hall's now trying to haul them in as we come towards the three marker. And it's El Sophia Mella, your new leader, being pushed along oh much better jump from Batchley Gale on the rail and that one's now gone back into the lead so a t top uh, tussle up front of Batchley Gale El Sophia Mella got a lot of air time but a slow jump and now Batchley Gale has opened up a bigger advantage as we come towards the final one and a half furlongs good jump there and another slow one in behind from El Sophia Mella so they're, they're doing Batchley Gale favours up front here nothing 